Welcome back, X Squad. This is Minecorps X, and today I'm back with another Lego Minecorp set review. Today we have the Lego 2015 Lego Mixels Series 4 Nick's Butt, number 41528. Comes with 62 pieces. Let's get started. Mission Control, we have incoming. <laughs> yes, this is Nick's Butt. This is the Lego Mixels Series 4 Orbiton, second member of the. Orbitons, or Orbitrons, depending on what you're calling it. <laughs> and in case you were wondering, this is the Mixel Star. He is looking at the star, and that's about all. Yep, so I, as I did last this review, I brought a pair of scissors. I'll be super careful not to cut off the head of the character on the top. There we go. So let me get this guy open. We will build him. Okay, hold on, let me just get this guy up. Uh, there we go. See, that's why I really like about the Orbitons, the amount of transparent pieces. Yeah, so those are the instructions. So, oh yeah, one thing I want to say, there, there's no code for a Series 4. They're not in the game, they didn't give them any codes, which was a huge bummer. Alright, so, unlike last, last Mixel review, this actually comes with a new piece. Ah! This glass dome, it's a lot shorter than I thought it would be. It's a new piece, it looks like. Well, I don't know, because they have longer versions of these, and they have shorter versions of these, so this is the medium. So this glass dome is a new piece, the only one, actually. I will be sure to keep all my preserved brownies under there, or whatever. <laughs> Alright, let me get this guy built, and we will get started on the review. All right, there he is. The extras is a one green square and one green circular, one by one tile in a red translucent stud. All right, those are the extras. Now this guy is like it looks exactly like the instructions, right? But it just seems so different in real life. I have no idea why. It just like is like exact. I I I don't know. I really don't know how to explain. He's got a cool fire exhaust jet in the back. That thing propels this whole guy. He's a lot thicker than I thought. I thought he was tall and skinny, but he's actually pretty thick. And there, this is the Mixel Star. Woo! Yep, so he looks like a star and a jet plane and a transformer. Yeah. <laughs> I like how his arms are wings. I don't know, it just gives him more character. Uh, yeah, about the eye, you can actually take off his... Oh no, his eye might pop out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can take off his glass visor and rotate his eye and then put it back on. It's kind of hard to see from the front because of the stud, but from the side it looks pretty cool. Make him look down or in the direction he's about to bite in. And this is when I first introduced having joints for, for the upper jaw. Most of them are either hinges or didn't move, but now they've got joints so they can move the jaw side to side and give it more like, huh, what's going on? Yeah, more and more uh, detail, humor, Stuff like that, more personality. So I really like that. He's got, he's got, you got some spare studs. He's got like limited clipping, not clipping, just like you no know, one holds it in place. Like there's a, there's some empty gaps where you could have, where the designer could have added something new, but that's okay. It's a decent amount of pieces for this guy. If I didn't say earlier, which I don't think I did, it's, he comes with 62 pieces. That is the second most in the Orbiton tribe. So 62, he's right there smack in the middle. Yeah, I really like what you can do with the eye. You can just take off the show no captain don't suck me eyeball out and then you can just turn it back. Yeah, so that was really cool. And you can turn his head all the way upside down, make him look like a shark. He actually does look like a shark. If you just put pose him right, he looks like a shark. And that's his little fin. Yeah, so uh his feet very simple, but they still have the astronaut -y look. They've got the gold bars. I really like those things. And uh, this goes that, well, obviously you can move that if you can already guess. It does come with a lot of, uh, a lot of these 1x2 slopes. You got 4 in black, and then you got 2 in green. So that, that's, uh, the most I've seen in one mixel is 8, but 6 is pretty good. That's a pretty decent amount of slopes. As of uh, the other Orbitron, well, not some of them, but, uh, yeah, this one also comes with those green 1x1s. But this is the only Orbiton I know of that comes with... <laughs> The square, not circular. Yeah, so you got two arms, two legs, but then you have the neck that moves. So that gives you ten joint pieces in all. Ten joint pieces. That's that's pretty good. He has those little spaceship lights at the end of his wingtips, so you can 
tell he's coming even at night time since it's dark in space. It's like, it's more of a, like a spaceship with a head and feet. It looks like that, but it's supposed to be a star. It looks like the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo, actually. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> yeah, I, I really do like, I really do like the looks of it all. You can, it's easy to control his arms because they're so big. So that's what I really liked about that. And also, this this is very stout. It's not a lot. The other ones could, they're a lot taller, but they it's either a new piece or just they're. I don't know. I haven't seen this ever before besides this Mixel. So yeah, that. But what I don't like though, what they do with the eye is they use a red stud, and it looks like his like blood veins connecting to his eye. Yeah, that kind of disgusts me, but. I'll try to ignore that. I'll remember it's just a light. It's just a toy. It, it won't start bleeding if I take the eye off <laughs> and rotate it. And this is just like the steering vein, I guess. Or well, it, it's whatever. You've got a lot of flaps. You have these two. Then you have the one up top. Then you have the wings. So it's supposed to look like a star, but also it looks like a spaceship. So this is the mixel that looks like a spaceship. Here you get one. That looks like, I'll show you all the Orbitons, you get one that looks just like an astronaut, a uh, head full of glass, one that looks like a space station, one that looks like a spaceship, and the Orbitron Max, which looks really cool. Yeah, so, I just think, I think this was definitely worth it, I've only seen these guys going for five bucks, no, no, nothing cheaper, apologies, I have never found a cheaper Mixel, unless they're like on sale if you wait. Yeah, but looks like, there are a lot, there are a lot of possibilities with this guy, if you could, He's a windmill, or, yeah, a shark, whatever you want to do. That's the best part with Legos, that's the best part with Mixels. It's not that you can build anything, it's that you can build everything. This will be the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Be sure to join the next squad by subscribing. Feel free to leave a like, comment that you left a like, and I will like your comment. Check out my other videos if you don't know who I am. Watch the introduction to my channel. If you don't know what Lego Minecorp is, this is a Lego Minecorp set review. Watch the introduction to Lego Minecorp. I have a lot of introductions. Be sure to check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll like what you find. This is Minecorp's X over and out.